Hi, it's Casey here, and uh, I wanted to make a new video for you. I haven't done one in quite some time, and actually, this particular post and video is all about why I haven't done a video in, in quite some time, and um, this is something that you might relate to as well, so stick around. Okay, I know, I haven't made a post in a while, I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm gonna tell you why, and it's not an excuse, but I'll, I'll tell you what's been going on with me. Um, I have been trying to rebrand Casey Zeman, and as such, uh, I was going to be have, I, I, I wanted to have a new, uh, a new design for this blog, and I didn't want to make a new blog post until I had that design. So I had all these visions of I want to make sure that I finish this before I I start rolling out more content to my community. But what happened was, and this happens all the time, is that you know we get ahead of our, or rather, get behind our schedule. We have you know an expectation that we want to achieve, and if we if we don't achieve that expectation, oftentimes we just we kind of ignore the other things that are nagging at us to get done. So I kind of put a block, an expectation up um, that was I want to get my blog post or my new blog design done before I roll out a new blog post. And what that did was that limited me uh, to uh, limited my communication with you by putting that block or that barrier up. What what I did though, however, I did create a schedule for me to do that. I said, okay, I want to have the new blog site up uh, relatively soon and then I'm going to roll out a new blog post. It hasn't happened because I've gone back and forth with the designer just trying to get things right and, um, and it, this is just, it is what it is. It is the process that we go through and I don't know if you're anyone like me, but I'm a recovering perfectionist. I um, still am sort of a perfectionist and that's probably why I haven't put a blog post or video out there yet in a while because I had these this, <clears throat> this fixed notion that I needed to get this done before I could get this done and it was me putting myself into this box, right? And I realized that, you know, the whole point of this business is to not be in a box. The whole point of this business is to uh, step outside the box and communicate how we are feeling. So with, with that said, I realized that I'm doing a disservice to myself because that nagging thing that I'm trying to get done is not getting done. I'm doing a disservice to my community because they don't know what's happening with me because I haven't made a video in a while. So they're like, Casey, what's going on with you? Um, as well as... I'm not providing the, the value that I want to give to my community. So that's why I decided I'd make a new video for you today with the old design still implemented. Um, and I want to talk about four things that you can do to avoid procrastination or four things that you can do sort of to set up your day in regards to how you prioritize different tasks during the day. So this is kind of messy. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of messy though, sorry. So I have uh, four blocks that I do during the day. Those four, four blocks can consist of anywhere between 30 minutes to two hours. And this can be however you do it, however, you know, whatever you do for your time. But um, I wanna go through what these blocks are that I do during the day so that I can achieve, I guess, the best possible productivity I can because it's, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the one running this business, it's all about the productivity. So the very first block that I tend to do is personally helping others. So in this first bit of block, I go in and I help out where I can with support, you know, with our software, with questions that the community has, with going to Facebook. I answer personal questions that people have uh, so that they know that I'm here, I'm available to them. So I'll, I'll allocate 30 minutes to two hours of my time to go through, personally connect with people, uh, go into the help desk, answer questions that they may have, uh, find solutions for them if they're looking for it, and go into my Facebook group and, and connect personally with people in the Facebook group or make a post um, in Facebook group just to let them know that I'm thinking about them, I'm here to help. Um, and so what that does is it just keeps that connection, that, that relationship going with the people in my community uh, specifically so they know that I'm giving a personal 
uh, hands-on touch, right? I'm, I'm there for them, I'm, I'm wanting to, to help them. So I, that's my first block, that I allocate about 30 minutes to two hours for personal time to my community, one-on-one -on -one, um, personal time helping others, answering questions. Okay, so the second block is all about uh, the growth of the business. This is where I focus on traffic techniques. Um, I check stats for our traffic and I check lead generation because this is where I start to focus on what are the best tools and what are the best ways to get lead generation. I focus on future projects. Um, I build out automation goals through various campaigns and I, I focus on traffic and of course lead generation, bringing that traffic in and I'm, am I using uh, the right landing pages for my traffic? Am I, are, is my, are my Facebook ads working well enough to, to drive people into my, um, into my webinars, let's say? So uh, this is where I track all that data and I try to at least get one or two goals done such as you know, adding another automation step such as you know, another follow-up email just to deepen that relationship with those who do get on my list. So that's where I take that amount of time. That, that could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours to more as well. But um, that's how much I try to allocate, 30 minutes to two hours on that particular phase or block. I'd like to then move in to a, a block that's strictly for making money, okay? I have a friend, Chris Farrell, who calls it earn time, where we focus solely on where's our next dollar coming from. So this is where I focus on uh, promotions, whether I'm promoting myself uh, out to my list, whether I am uh, promoting somebody else's product, somebody else is promoting me. This is where I uh, focus on what I can do to push my business forward to make, um, where's that next dollar coming from? Even if I am automatically making money every single month, um, I also want to be thinking about this sort of second tier of money coming in or the second tier of what else can I do to sort of promote uh, myself while still providing value to my list right and my community so that's where during the business I strictly focus on earn time and that also by the way can uh, can refer to consulting you know where I focus on uh, my consulting contracts and my consulting gigs my coaching programs all that is under that umbrella and that block of making money uh, and that's where uh, during the day I focus on those actions, what I can do to make more money, to bring more revenue into the business. It's earn time at that point. And then the final block is block four, which is all about creating the content, okay? Um, and content marketing is, is one of the best ways to, to uh, not only let your community know what's up with you, but it's also a wonderful way to make long-term uh, earning because uh, the more content you put out in the, into the world, uh, the easier it is for people to find you. And I always notice that every bit of, a bit of content that I put out there, it helps me to make that additional connection to my audience to where they will come in potentially into my community, into my software, into my training, because they, now they have that additional level of value that I'm providing them, they get to know me a bit more, and it builds that relationship even deeper. So the content that you put out into the world, um, you know, it, this is where you build an overall relationship with your community. Yes, you know, in block one, we talked about how you can create one-on-one um, -on -one or personal help for individuals and that's really powerful and then block four you just want to start thinking about that content that you put out into the into the world and send out to your community is the overall way that you provide value um, and you connect with them okay and a lot of people what I want to point out in, in regards to this block is a lot of times we tend to put up a a barrier and don't show a lot of who we are personally and, uh, and this is where I think we need to make that change and you kind of need to make that switch in your mind and, and that's my problem as well because I tend to not do that and, and sometimes if I, if I, if I don't create a, a video in a while it's because I'm probably focusing on so many things that are, are just you know kind of taking up my life, right? So um, that's where I think it's actually good to create content that has a personal touch to it. We are all people uh, behind our business. So, you know, if you're showing your vulnerability, you're showing what's happening um, in your business, a window into your business, which is a window into who you are, um, you know, it, it just helps people to know that they're, they're communicating with someone who's real, right? And that's, and that's really important.
I do also hope that the this four block system can help you in your productivity uh, while you go throughout your day. Okay. If you like this post, uh, please go ahead and do let me know what, what's, what has ever happened to you um, in your life slash business that has slowed you down, that has sort of been a barrier or um, a, a, I guess a speed bump um, into your growth. Anything that slowed you down um, that you had to push through. Go ahead and put that in the comment box below. And of course, share news of this video if you found it helpful. And I look forward to speaking with you in the future. All right. Talk to you soon.